Let's create this bridge. Add a plane, scale it up to 15 meters, create a loop cut and bevel it, extrude it down, scale it in the y-axis, change your clip end to a higher value, create another loop cut, bevel it again and create this middle section. Create one loop cut from the top view, move the top to the side and another loop cut to the end. Select both loop cuts and move it upwards and Ctrl B to bevel them. Select both outlines, extrude it down a little bit and bridge edge loops. Now create a cube, scale the cube to something like 6 meters and scale it up in the Z axis and move the cube to a couple of positions of the bridge. Select the bottom of all cubes, move them up a bit, change to individual origins and extrude all and scale them up and extrude them down. Create a cylinder. Change the vertices to 16, radius to 1 and depth to 10 and move the cylinder to a couple of these stabilizations. Select the top, snap the cursor to select it, then add a cube and collapse the cube so you have just one vertice. Then extrude the vertice, move it down, create a couple of these lines, convert it to a curve and increase the depth of the curve to 0.1. Also reduce the resolution to 6, select your stabilizations and smart UV project them, apply the scale and bevel them, do the same with the bridge. Now add some water and scale it all the way up and apply the scale. Now switch to cycles, GPU compute and of course to your render view. First let's add an HDRI. So go to your shading tab, switch to world and choose an environment texture. Now let's start with the shading. So add a new material for this ocean. First go to edit mode and extrude it down. Delete the principal BSDF. Search for glass, search for volume absorption. For the color, choose something around that. Change the index of refraction to 1.33. For the volume absorption, choose the same color. Now we need a bump node and a noise texture. Put the factor into the height, increase the detail level and the scale. Now let's set up a material for our stabilization of the bridge. So select them, create a new material and drag and drop all your textures into the shader. And now we need a texture for our bridge. I will choose my procedural street texture. You can click in the right corner to watch the video. Okay, that looks good. For this pipe, I will use a material from Polygon. Add a camera, set the camera to a position you like. Increase the clip end of your camera also to a higher value. Now let's add the other side of our bridge. For that, add a plane, scale it up, add a couple of subdivides. Just deform the plane to a more natural look. Then apply the scale again. And of course we need a texture for this too. So add a new material and add the materials to the shader. And to fix this we need to add another plane and scale it all the way up and move it to a position like this and assign the same material. Enable the mist path under your view layer properties, switch to your world shading tab, open the mist path, switch from your render view from combined to mist. And now we just set up a sun. Fill our scene with some assets. You have story and a nice looking render. All assets I used are completely free from Polyheaven or CG Trader. And with some more compositing you have this result. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Have fun and bye bye.